Google Maps can make you rich because Google Maps is a global public database filled with valuable contact and segmentation data. If you want to quickly build a list of leads, you need to scrape this data. But what exactly is Google Maps scraping? Google Maps scraping, harvesting or extracting is the process of getting all the information about places, name, address, coordinates, site, phone, working hours, etc. from the Google Maps site. In other words, Google Maps scraping is used to gather Google Maps data primarily for prospecting new customers. Bottom line. In this video, we will compare two Google Maps scraping tools, Artscraper and Scrub.io. What data can you extract? How much data can you extract? Which tool is the best choice? And under what circumstances? Hi, my name is Francois, and today we are comparing Artscraper and Scrub.io. Let's start with the basics. What are Artscraper? Scraper and Scrub.io. Both are web scraping platforms designed to simplify the scraping process as much as possible. As long as you input the correct parameters, the platform takes care of the rest. In other words, in both cases, your IP address cannot be exposed and potentially blocked, which is a good thing. However, a closer look at the landing pages reveals a significant difference. Adscraper offers solutions for scraping the internet and Scrap.io is your Google Maps Leads Generator. When we explore the Services tab on Adscraper, we find a wide range of tools including Google Maps Scraper, Google Maps Review Scraper, Emails and Contact Scraper, Email Address Validator, Google Maps Photo Scraper and quite a long list that I won't read you comprehensively. On the other hand, Scrap.io focuses on scraping Google Maps and Google Maps and exclusively Google Maps. The reality, it's not fair to compare Adscraper and Scrub.io. Instead, we should compare Google Maps Scraper and Scrub.io. Now that we have clarified that, let's dive into the comparison. Okay, let's start with Adscraper. Once you have logged in, you have access to your dashboard and we have said we will try out Google Maps Scraper. So let's jump into it. We select a category. We have access to like thousands of different categories on Google Maps. We won't list them all. Here is a list, but let's keep things simple and let's say I want to select a restaurant. I can check exact match. Did you know? But if you type on Google Maps, let's say Korean restaurant, you might end up with over categories that are similar, but which are not exactly Korean restaurants. It's because Google Maps classifies all companies based on a primary category, but also based on secondary categories. So if you want to make your request more precise, might I suggest to check exact match. Locations, United States, so we can pick up another country. And by default, we are selecting all 50 states. For a first try, I will extract something based on the city. Let's say we want to target Nashville. Nashville, can I do that? Yes, okay. You can see we can also um, be even more specific by selecting a specific zip code. Here we go, Tennessee, Nashville. Maximal results, zero is equal to unlimited. Uh, let's say 30 results. Enhance the results with our services. So let's unselect everything and pick up only what is necessary. So for this part, there is one advantage and one disadvantage. The main advantage is that this way of enriching data is very useful. For example, I can get company insight, which can help me to better segment my data. I can also get emails on contact scraper because did you know it? But on Google Maps, you can't have directly access to email addresses. You can get websites, you can get phone numbers, but you can't get email addresses. So how do you gather this piece of data? Very simple. As long as a company has written its website on the Google Maps card, you can create a crawler or scraper to visit this website and collect additional information. Finally, we're going to check email address verifier, which can validate email addresses. The drawback of this is that it's and hidden costs because all these 15 options are not available in free access. Let's check advanced parameters. Let's add another filter. For example, I can create a filter based on the current state of the business is equal to operational. In other words, I won't get companies which are closed. Let's add 
one more website of the place is not blank which entails companies which have a website the language english we skip nothing and places per one query search this one is really weird because did you know it but on google maps theoretically you cannot get access to more than 120 results um, because of uh, google limits and that's something i verified myself no matter how large your request is you cannot exceed the limit of 120 results so maybe they have found a way to overcome this obstacle i don't know delete duplicates use zip code over parameters excel file colon to return all if not selected get data outscraper is running this query i click on confirm and i see you back once i've got my result in the meantime let's do the same thing for scrap.io so once you have logged in you can make your requests in the search tab all you need to do is to specify a category and up to four location criteria and then you can export your data let's see how it goes i can pick up an activity so i've picked up the same one meaning restaurant but as we have said earlier we have access to thousands of different categories i can pick up another country if i want to i can pick up a level one and level two division in the United States level 1 division refers to a state and level 2 division to a county so let's specify Tennessee and the city Nashville. I click on search and it says to me that I'm about to retrieve about 1,600 results. But let's assume I want to get something more accurate. In other words, let's filter our database. On that scraper, we had access to nine filters. On a scrub.io, the number rise to 17. Filters are divided into essential filters and advanced filters. We don't want closed companies we can get companies with a website a phone number email facebook instagram youtube twitter linkedin and with a main activity only main activity only is the same thing as the exact match option on ad scraper meaning if i check yes i will get only restaurant as a main activity only as its name suggests now for the advanced filters i can draw a line between google maps listed claimed or not it shows us whether a company has already created an account on Google's business profile or not yet. Price range, rating, number of reviews, number of photos, contact form on websites. Indeed, we can contact companies with a phone number, with an email address, but also through contact forms. And this is highly helpful because unlike emails, contact forms are 100% reliable. If there is a contact form, it's to be contacted. An ad pixel on website at pixel on website roughly shows us how much a company has spent money on advertising free filters let's click on filter and we are about to retrieve about 319 results i can export my data advanced options let's give a name and let's export 30 lines i click on export now it's time to compare both results let's start with scrap.io. How many data rows do we have? 30 data rows, good. So we've got the IDs, the name of the restaurant, descriptions, whether the restaurant is closed or not, the main type and all types, main category and secondary categories, website, phone number, full address, which is divided into different subtypes, the link of the Google Maps card over ids email address social media links facebook youtube twitter instagram linkedin first seen on which is an indicator of how new the card is price range reviews count reviews rating reviews per score features occupancy whether the establishment has been claimed by the owner, working hours, characteristics, and SEO related data. Among them, website title, website meta keywords, website meta description, meta image, meta generator, meaning what has been used to create the website, what kind of version of WordPress, additional email addresses, up to five and actually unlimited email addresses because everything is summarized within the colon all emails same thing for contact pages and same thing for social media links we end up with website technologies and website 
add pixels. When we compare this Excel file to the one from Hotscraper, they are roughly equivalent. However, I've noticed a few differences here and there. On Hotscraper, we have access to company insights because we selected that extra option. On Scrap.io, you can find website ad pixels, while Hotscraper only includes Facebook pixel, often with null or zero values. The same applies to the field titled website technologies. Scrap.io provides accurate names of the technologies used, while Outscraper offers only a Boolean indicator. For email addresses, both platforms provide this feature, although it's a premium option on Outscraper. Additionally, Outscraper verifies the validity of an email address because we selected that extra option, categorizing them into one of the three statuses, invalid, receiving, or blacklisted. Scrap.io, on the other hand, lists all email addresses found, whereas Hotscraper is limited to free. Another example is the availability of social networks. Hotscraper offers a wide range of options, although one may assume it's pretty unlikely to find a Snapchat account. Scrap.io provides the main social networks, but also includes a less commonly used contact detail, contact forms. I could go on, but the main point is that both tools produce results that are quite similar overall. So, what's next? Is there another criterion we can consider? Perhaps there is. We have seen how they perform with 30 data rows. However, would our conclusions remain the same if we scaled up to extract hundreds of thousands of leads? Let's think bigger. I've already scraped large databases using Scrub.io. 140,000 results, 210,000 results. The point is that it works just as flawlessly for extensive extractions as it does for smaller ones. The main difference, of course, lies in the processing time. You can prepare a coffee, take a nap, tell a story to your kids, and come back later to find it completed. Now let's simulate the same scenario using Outscraper. I click on get data and it seems like a large scale extraction is indeed possible. The platform works by splitting the main query into multiple smaller ones. However, the real problem lies elsewhere. The estimated price ranges from $200 to $1,300. Here is the big issue with Outscraper. There is a lack of transparency. You don't know exactly how many results you will collect or how much it will cost. While Outscraper provides a cost calculator, it is based on the question, how many businesses do you want to export? Since since the number of results is uncertain, so is the total price. Adscraper can provide data from densely populated areas, but in cases like this, it feels like navigating in fig fog. This is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe. Let's stay in touch. At Swap.io, we are preparing to launch a revolutionary feature. Soon, you will be able to search for companies by city, county, state, or even country without needing to specify a category. Click the link in the description to get your first 100 leads free of charge. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact our customer support team. There is nothing else to see. Bye.